Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In this video, we'll look at the top top 20 best dividend stocks to buy and hold. Please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to receive new weekly updates before we begin. Let's get started. These days, investors are all about dividend investing as they look for profitable investments due to concerns about a potential recession. According to the CNBC CFO survey, Nearly 68% of chief financial officers expect a recession in the first half of 2023 and are looking for a reliable source of income to weather the market environment. As a result, over $3 billion in dividend-focused ETF investments were made by investors in December 2022, bringing the year-to-date total to $43 billion. Value in dividend stocks are appealing in a volatile market. Dividend yields provide a consistent stream of income because companies that pay dividends typically have higher levels of free cash flow. Dividend stocks have historically made a significant contribution to overall market returns. From 1973 to 2021, companies that paid dividends generated a total annual return of 9.6% as opposed to the S&P 500's 8.2% return during the same period. Some of the top stocks that investors are focusing on are the Coca-Cola Company, Procter & Gamble, and Merck and & Company Incorporated, as these have a proven track record of dividend growth. With that said, Let's review our top 20 best dividend stocks to buy and hold. Number 20. Microsoft, ticker, MSFT. Microsoft paid its first dividend in 2003, when its success was based on control over the Windows operating system. It survived the government's antitrust assault. Once it ended, the company came to dominate the new industry of cloud computing. As Tim Cook's performance eclipsed Steve Jobs at Apple, so Satya Nadella has outdone Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. Since being named CEO in 2014, Nadella has increased the dividend by 400%, from $0.47 cents a share to $1.90. He has also delivered 256% of capital gains, an average of 32% per year, even with the 2022 bear market taking the stock down by more than 40%. If you bought Microsoft five years ago when it was at $82, your dividend is now yielding over 9%. Grab it now and you could get a similar performance. Number 19. Apple, ticker, AAPL. For many years ExxonMobil was the largest company in the world by market cap. Today that crown is held by Apple. The Rockefeller of Apple was the late Steve Jobs, the iPhone was his crowning achievement. But his management genius may be eclipsed by successor Tim Cook, who has taken control of the supply chain, invested in cloud data centers, and maintained control of Apple's software and application ecosystem. Jobs was not a fan of dividends, but Cook has been paying them since 2012. He has also used stock splits and buybacks to keep the stock price reasonable. What Jobs liked most were capital gains. Cook has increased the value of Apple by nearly 1,000%, and its market cap is now $2.34 trillion. It can't lift the market by itself, but unlike Exxon it has every chance of leading the next leg up. Number 18. Altria, ticker, MO. Altria Group Incorporated is an American corporation and one of the world's largest producers and marketers of tobacco, cigarettes and related products. It operates worldwide and is headquartered in Virginia. The company is best known for its iconic Marlboro brand of cigarettes, but at one time or another Altria and its predecessors had a hand in other famous names including Miller Brewing and Kraft Foods. The stock originally joined the Dow in 1985, when the company was called Philip Morris. The name changed to Altria in 2003, and the stock was replaced in the Dow in 2008. Altria's lifetime annualized dividend return is 17.7%. Number 17. Sherwin-Williams, ticker, SHW. Sherwin-Williams Company is an American company in the paint and coating manufacturing industry. Sherwin-Williams has increased its annual dividend for 44 consecutive years. Its 10-year annualized total return is 16.05% through October 6, 618 basis points higher than the entire U.S. market. It currently yields 1.1%. Number 16. Automatic Data Processing, ticker, ADP. Automatic Data Processing Incorporated is an American provider of human resources management software and services. Automatic Data Processing has increased its annual dividend for 47 consecutive years. Its 10-year annualized total return is 16.49% through October 6, 662 basis points higher than the entire U.S. market. It currently yields 1.8%. The shares are trading at 25.4 by 2023 earnings. At first glance, this multiple probably seems high. However, it's less than the stock's five-year average of around 30x forward earnings. 
ADP has one of the best 10-year total returns of the dividend aristocrats. Number 15. Home Depot, ticker, HD. Home Depot was founded in 1978 as a large hardware store. Its IPO was in 1981. It paid its first dividend in 1989. That was the equivalent of 13 cents a share, with shares worth about $20.50. The most recent dividend was $1.90 a share or $7.60 for the year. Today Home Depot has over 2,300 stores, and a scaled online sales operation. It has eclipsed Coca-Cola as Atlanta's premier dividend stock. Just as Coke had PepsiCo, Home Depot has Lowe's, the large home improvement chain to share its dominance. The current yield on Home Depot's dividend is 2.65%, as the bear market has sent the stock down 27% from its high. Its price-to-earnings ratio is now below 18, making it an incredible bargain for a long-term value investor. Number 14. Nucor, ticker, NUE. Nucor Corporation is an American producer of steel and related products based in Charlotte, North Carolina. Nucor has increased its annual dividend for 49 consecutive years. Its 10-year annualized total return is 13.23% through October 2022, 336 basis points higher than the entire U.S. market. It currently yields 1.7%. In September 2022 the company declared a quarterly cash dividend of 50 cents to be paid to shareholders on November 10. It's the company's 198th consecutive quarterly cash dividend. That sounds even more impressive than 49 years. Number 13. Archer Daniels Midland, ticker, ADM. The Archer Daniels Midland Company, commonly known as ADM, is an American multinational food processing and commodities trading corporation founded in 1902. Archer Daniels Midland has increased its annual dividend for 49 consecutive years. Its 10-year annualized total return is 13.27% through October 6, 340 basis points higher than the entire U.S. market. It currently yields 2%. The best reason to invest in ADM is that it continues to improve its operations. By 2025, it expects to grow earnings in the high single digits each year, with a minimum 10% return on invested capital and dividend payout ratio of 30% to 40%. Number 12. Hormel Foods, ticker, HRL. Hormel Foods has increased its annual dividend for 56 consecutive years. Its 10-year annualized total return is 13.4% through October 6, 353 basis points higher than the entire U.S. market. It currently yields 2.3%. The company's refrigerated foods business continues to generate the most revenue, accounting for 55% of sales in the most recently reported quarter. In the years ahead, Hormel plans to grow its business outside the United States. International sales currently account for less than 6% of overall revenue. All in all, this is a stable performer in good times and bad. Number 11. Lowe's, ticker, LOW. Lowe's has increased its annual dividend for 48 consecutive years. Its 10-year annualized total return is 21.18% through October 2022, 1,131 basis points higher than the entire U.S. market. It currently yields 2.1%. It's been a little over four years since Lowe's appointed Marvin Ellison as its CEO. Since he took the helm in July 2018, Lowe's stock is up 107% compared to 35% for the S&P 500. In its Q2 2022 press release, the company stated that it repurchased $4 billion of its stock during the quarter, paying an average price of $185.19. It's already made money on its buyback. Number 10. Walmart Incorporated, ticker, WMT. Walmart Incorporated is a multinational retail company that operates a chain of hypermarkets and grocery stores in the U.S. At the end of fiscal Q1 2022, Walmart Incorporated reported $246.1 billion in total assets, up from $244.8 billion in the previous quarter. Walmart has been raising its dividends consecutively for the past 45 years. It pays a quarterly dividend of 56 cents per share, with a yield of 1.73%, as of July 2022. The company used 47.8% of its net income in dividends in Q1. In June, Morgan Stanley raised its price target on Walmart Inc. to $156 with an overweight rating on the shares, highlighting the company's stable customer base. Walmart Inc. dividend yield as of July 2022 was 1.73%. Number 9. The Kroger Company, ticker, KR. The Kroger Company is an Ohio-based retail company that operates supermarkets across the U.S. 
The company has over 2,800 stores across 35 states. In July 2022, UBS called the Kroger company one of its top 10 stock ideas for the third quarter due to elevated food inflation and the company's improving market trends. The firm kept a buy on the stock. In June of 2022, the Kroger company announced a quarterly dividend of 26 cents per share, up 24% from the previous dividend. This was the company's 16th consecutive year of dividend growth. The company's strong financial health signals future dividend growth, as it expects to generate between $2 to $2.2 billion in free cash flow. As of July 2022, the stock's dividend yield came in at 2.17%. In the first quarter of 2022, 45 hedge funds held investments in the Kroger company, worth over $5.1 billion. In the previous quarter, 41 hedge funds owned $4.1 billion worth of stakes in the company. The Kroger company dividend yield as of July 2022 was 2.1. Number 8. Colgate Palmolive Company, ticker, CL. Colgate Palmolive Company is a New York-based consumer products company that deals in household, healthcare, and personal care products. In June of 2022, Evercore IC called Colgate Palmolive Company one of the best consumer staples stocks for investors due to its pricing power and inflation. The firm raised its price target on the stock to $90 with an outperform rating on the shares. At the end of Q1 2022, Colgate Palmolive Company reported $877 million in cash and cash equivalents, up from $832 million in the previous quarter. Colgate Palmolive Company has been making dividend payments consecutively for the past 58 years while raising its payouts for 21 years. Colgate Palmolive Company dividend yield as of July 2022 was 2.42%. Number 7. The Procter & Gamble Company, ticker, PG. The Procter & Gamble Company is an American multinational consumer goods corporation headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio, founded in 1837. P&G specializes in a wide range of personal consumer health, personal care and hygiene products. These products are organized into several segments including beauty, grooming, health care, fabric and home care, and baby, feminine, and family care. The Procter & Gamble company spent over $2.2 billion in dividends and generated $3.2 billion in operating cash flow. The company's adjusted free cash flow productivity stood at 75% in Q1 and the company expects it to reach 95% in the fiscal year 2022 with $8 billion allocated in dividend payments. The company holds a 66-year track record of dividend growth. As of July 2022, the stock's dividend yield came in at 2.55%. The Procter & Gamble company dividend yield as of July 2022 was 2.55%. Number 6. Johnson & Johnson, ticker, J&J. Johnson & Johnson is one of the oldest pharmaceutical industry companies. It specializes in medical devices, pharmaceuticals, and consumer goods. In the second quarter of 2022, Johnson & Johnson beat street estimates, generating revenue of $24 billion, up 3% from the same period last year. In July 2022, Wells Fargo raised its price target on Johnson & Johnson to $195 with an overweight rating on the shares. The firm appreciated the company's Q2 performance and believes that J&J is well positioned to overcome market volatility. Johnson & Johnson's dividend yield as of July 2022 was 2.59%. Number 5. The Coca-Cola Company, ticker, KO. An American beverage company, the Coca-Cola Company was added to Wells Fargo's recession stock portfolio as the stock is up 4.67% year-to-date, as of the close of July 19. The company's cash flow from operations stood at $620 million at the end of the quarter. In February 2022, the Coca-Cola company raised its quarterly dividend for the 60th consecutive year to $0.44 cents per share. Its payout ratio stands at 71.7%, improving from 82.2% in 2021. As of July 2022, the stock's dividend yield came in at 2.85%. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway was the largest stakeholder of the Georgia-based company in Q1, owning 400 million shares. The Coca-Cola company dividend yield as of July 2022 was 2.85%. Number 4. Merck & Company Incorporated, ticker, MRK. Merck is a New Jersey-based multinational pharmaceutical company that also operates outside US and Canada under different brand names. Merck & Company Incorporated offers an annual payout of $2.76 per share, up 8.6% from a year earlier. 
The company has not slashed its dividend since 1985 and maintains an 11-year track record of consistent dividend growth. In Q1 2022, Merck and company generated $14.7 billion in free cash flow and expects it to reach $25 billion by the end of the year. Its payout ratio sits at 39.5%, down from 43.2% in 2021. As of July 19, the stock's dividend yield came in at 2.97%. In July, street analysts presented a positive outlook on Merck and company incorporated ahead of its Q2 earnings. Both Morgan Stanley and UBS raised their price targets on the stock to $88 and $98, respectively. Number 3. Chevron Corporation, ticker, CVX. Chevron Corporation is a California-based energy company that sells diesel, gasoline, and aviation fuels. The company has five U.S. fuel refineries and also owns a network of service stations. In Q1 2022, Chevron Corporation reported total assets worth over $2.6 billion, up from $2.5 billion in the previous quarter. Chevron Corporation has raised its dividend consistently for the past 25 years, falling into the category of dividend champion. In the past 10 years, it raised its dividend by 62%, which shows its financial strength. The company currently pays a quarterly dividend of $1.42 per share, with a yield of 4.06%, as of the close of July 19. Chevron Corporation's dividend yield as of July 2022 was 4.06%. Number 2. Exxon Mobil Corporation, ticker, XOM. Exxon Mobil Corporation is a Texas-based international oil and gas company that also develops next-generation technologies to meet the world's growing energy needs. In Q1 2022, Exxon Mobil Corporation generated over $14.8 billion in cash flow from operating activities, which is more than covering capital investment and shareholder distributions. Free cash flow for the quarter came in at $11 billion, up from $7 billion in the same period last year. Exxon Mobil Corporation maintains a 39-year streak of dividend growth. The company pays a quarterly dividend of $0.88 cents per share, with a dividend yield of 4.09%, as of July 2022. Also in July, Piper Sandler upgraded Exxon Mobil Corporation to overweight, as the company continued to invest in major oil and gas projects globally. Exxon Mobil Corporation dividend yield as of July 2022 was 4.09%. Number 1. International Business Machines Corporation, ticker, IBM. An American multinational tech company, International Business Machines Corporation, generated $1.3 billion in net cash from operating activities and $2.1 billion in free cash flow. The company returned $1.5 billion to shareholders through dividends in Q2. International Business Machines Corporation has been making consistent dividend payments since 1916 while maintaining a 27-year track record of dividend growth. As of July 19, the stock's dividend yield came in at 4.78%. In July 2022, Morgan Stanley lifted its price target on International Business Machines Corporation to $157, with an overweight rating on the shares. The firm mentioned IBM as one of the best performing stocks in its coverage in 2022 so far and expects the company's outperformance in the second half of the year. In Q1 2022, 43 hedge funds own stakes in International Business Machines Corporation, down slightly from 44 in the previous quarter. IBM's dividend yield as of July 2022 was 4.78%. This concludes our list of the top 20 best dividend stocks to buy and hold. As always, it is essential to do your due diligence before committing your hard-earned cash to buying stocks or investing in the market. Of these 20 dividend stocks for long term would you like to include in your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comment section below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.